to The Flight Test. I'm Josh. I'm Andres. And today we get to check out the E-Flight Expert. Now, if you haven't heard of the Expert before, it's basically like a twin-engine flying wing mixed up with a VTOL. Yeah. And, and it really, it's a, it's a beautiful model of simplicity mm -hmm. and, and great flight characters. It makes getting into VTOLs, quads, airplanes, all of that really simple. Really approachable, too. So what we're going to do today is we're going to put it through its paces, bang it into some stuff, give you our experience. Yeah, and this thing is pretty cool. Like, I've never flown a VTOL before. This yeah. is the first VTOL I ever flew. And man, when I transitioned that first time, that was smooth. Well, it's, it's, it's kind of breaks a lot of boundaries. It's, right. it's small in size, you know, and you expect the VTOL to be complicated. I love the simplicity. Two right. servos, two motors, and some programming. Exactly, yeah. All right, so right now we're flying in something called six axis mode. It is raining, and we're just gonna push through this because frankly, there's some bad stuff coming ahead. But uh, these planes are really made to have fun with. They can go anywhere. We always demonstrated in the early open. They take a beating. Yeah. Uh, but one thing I really love is the six axis gyro on this. Yeah, it's like self stabilizing. So if you push the stick all the way over, it won't roll over. It's basically bank limiting, you know? Yeah, it's bank limiting. It yeah. flies a lot like you'd expect an apprentice or something like that to fly. You know, from six axis or three axis, you can kick it right into hover mode. And it does that automatically all by itself. Yeah. All you have to do is just flick a switch. Yeah. Now, one really cool thing about this is mid stick basically altitude locks. It has a barometer in there. And it... you hit my plane! He, he clipped mine earlier too, but mine still flies. He's so mean. Okay, well, uh, well I'm gonna go see what the damage is. Uh, he like shattered your prop. He, he, that's too. Flu he, that's still flew fine. He, he cut it up. Now here's the one thing: is they did actually say when you do get damage from one prop or the other, you may have yaw issues. We're gonna continue flying and having fun. But go ahead and replace the props if you got this yourself. It's not gonna give you good results. I can't believe it's actually flying. Let's transition it. That barely even sounds like it's broken. You can barely tell. It's she's flying. All right, so before he hits me again, do you want to go ahead and put it in acro mode? No, let's do it, man. All right. I cannot believe this actually works. Dude, I love the, the yaw stability and the yaw control, yeah. too, frankly, with the uh, differential thrust yeah. on two motors. Even even when you're actually uh, even when you're actually flying in acro oh. mode, you still have the stabilization that you get with AS3X. Right. This is cool. So anytime you get in trouble, you just pop it into a hover. Look at that. Now we have a pretty calm weather outside right now. One thing I'd strongly encourage you is if it's windy, don't fly it in hover mode. And if you do have to penetrate into the wind a little bit, turn it the side of its service and rock back and forth. That'll help you go cut into the wind a lot easier than forward and backwards. So a couple really neat features about this here is uh, you can actually launch this a couple different ways. You can launch this whether it's vertical or you can hand launch this. Also another really cool feature is if you do have a crash and it feels a bump, it'll shut off both your props. Right, and that works on landing too. If you yeah. land and you just pull the throttle all the way down, set it down on its uh, still landing pads, it'll recognize that little bump and yeah. automatically shut off the motors, which is a really nice feature. Now one thing unfortunately we don't have on this that you definitely count in a vlog or another episode that's visiting is there's a little FPV module you can put in this and when you actually convert from uh, horizontal flight to uh, vertical flight in quad mode, uh, it'll actually rotate with you. So that means you can fly it as a quad, you can have this perspective, the control experience, but then right after that, you can switch to an airplane and it'll, after about three seconds, it rotates with the transition of the plane yeah. and it comes back around. You wanna fly formation? Let's try it, dude. You in uh, six axis mode too? Yeah, I'm in six axis. Cool. I have my little uh, my here. little battery belly hanging out <laughs> on the bottom, but there we go. Look, if, do you notice how easy it is to fly formation, and especially with these kind of they're, they're all tuned the same. I know, yeah. So you put a half throttle, you're flying the exact same speed as your buddy. Like same tune, same. <laughs> he just clipped me again. Same tune, same weight, and you know, same power makes for a really great formation yeah. flying experience. Now, even in wind, I wouldn't recommend quad mode in the wind, but one thing that is really nice in the wind is flying this in six axis mode. It'll track straight as an arrow. It's still very, very uh, stable in there. And all you'll have is just maybe, you know, penetrating into the wind. Right. Is your only main issue. Just smooth He hit those. me again. He hit both of us twice, each. I just love you can just take your hands <laughs> off of it. Now, if you're new to the hobby, this is definitely a first quad and first plane that you can get into. And I never thought I'd ever say that before, but you can literally buy this as your first quad and your first plane and learn the principles and disciplines of both. Uh, the one thing I'd encourage you is make sure you have your prop guards on. You can choose sure, to leave yeah. them on or off. Uh, keep your prop guards on. They actually help you also initialize uh, on its back. So you can keep it on its back. It keeps it nice and level. And uh, it does provide for a lot of durability. 
They really tune this nice. I'll just flush out the battery real quick. <laughs> That's so cool! You swear it has GPS on it. <laughs> it's just coming down. Let's go and switch out the battery real quick. Hey, you want to fly through the woods? Let's try it, All dude. Right. <laughs> you want to fly through the trees? Yeah, dude. All right, let's do it. I'm just kind of cruising a little bit on a kind of getting in the hover field. mode, yeah. All right, I'm going to go right for it. I want to fly through these trees. <laughs> All right. You know, I'm gonna sit right here and just watch you for a second. I want to see what line you're going for. Nice, dude. That's easy. Are you in six axis? Yeah, I'm in six axis right, mode. Let me try this. The biggest transition. thing is depth perception. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's gonna get at least one of us pretty soon. All right, let me try this. Oh, maybe not that line. Oh, there oh, it is. Oh man, that was bad. Let's try it again, right. dude. Transition. I can't believe the hits we put this thing under. I know. All right, so we've obviously been having a lot of fun here, but a lot of people want to hear the technical data here. This is available in two different modes. We have the bind and fly mode, which is a buck 50. Oh, that, nice. was so cool. <laughs> that was a blue angel stuff right there, dude. So with the bind and fly mode, you are going to need, uh, you're going to need your own transmitter, your own battery charger, and your own batteries. Mm -hmm. For 50 bucks more, you get a DXE radio, a battery, and a charger. And I think that's a phenomenal price, especially what this thing does. Yeah, I'm actually flying the uh, ready to fly version yeah. with the DXE. And the DXE is actually a pretty quality radio for its price. Yeah, like, the nice thing is with that, you can actually get either a cable or a Bluetooth dongle and you can program it through your phone. So you get some pretty advanced programming yeah. for a sub $100 radio, for plus sure. wireless buddy boxing. Yeah. This is so cool. <laughs> I love the six axis feature. I know, like you can just cruise around so easy. Yeah. Now one really cool feature about this in both modes, especially <laughs> when you're flying six axis, is you actually have altitude control. When you're center stick, she's pretty much gonna maintain altitude. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It just flies so locked in yeah. for such a small and light plane. It and really is. Speaking of which, oh. it uses pretty small batteries too. Yeah, between 450 and 800, you do not want to put a three cell, mm -hmm. only two cell on this. Yeah, they're two. twin 280 size brushless motors and uh, they give you pretty good power for where they are and for yeah. this size plane. I, I can't believe the kind of gaps you Dude. can shoot with this. Look they're at that, you just walk it right it, through. It's going so slow too. Like you can see the gyros working, yeah. the, uh, the elevons keeping it stable. Now we're at the very end of summer, but winter's going to be coming quick. I think this is a blast in the gymnasium because you can fly this in the gymnasium. Let's see if I can do a right hand turn right through the trees. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> that was insane! <laughs> you can see it like right now. I'm following through the thing I'm going to turn through. I just oh, smack God. it. Oh my God. I'm going to go help Stefan get my plane out of the tree. I need a bulky stick! No, no, we're good, man. Yeah. All right, you guys all saw that. Um, this is not on purpose. We literally fly things hard and, and hit things hard. Um, I did lose my little battery hatch. I got it in my pocket, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug this back in and see if there's anything that still works. Anytime you're learning to fly, durability is a must. And uh, that's one thing we've been really impressed. Obviously you've seen us crash this as much as we've been flying it. And that's because we like to have fun. Let's go ahead and see if she flies. All right, back in hover mode. Let's see if mine works too. <laughs> I saw how hard I hit that, right? All right, here we go. Got a little wind coming in. Gonna rotate it, and we're gonna punch out. Uh, I love nice. it, it's just hands-free punch out. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna fly some formation? Sure, dude, you wanna try to fly some formation gaps? Yeah, let's fly formation gaps, I like that. Dude, I just went the whole way through, and I don't think anyone was recording. I don't think so. All right, I'm gonna go over by Alex here, do you see me? All right, yep, I'll uh, catch up to you in a second. You know what, I'll just cheat that turn. All right, cool. And I'll just be right on you. I'm gonna go all the way, okay? All right. <laughs> nice. I couldn't quite catch up to you all the way, all right, but we're, we're together now. Let's line up, yep. All right, let's there shoot we some go. gaps together. So the FPV on this is gonna be definitely a great option. It's been on back order for a while. Look for a future vlog where we're gonna be able to really have some fun with that. Mm -hmm. And the wind is picking up, we got storms moving in, and it is still doing fantastic. Look at that. 
Oh! You're down. <laughs> I want to. I want to regain it. I want to get it back. Let's see if we can come the other way. Oh no way! Nice! <laughs> I thought I was gonna hit every oh one of those gosh. trees! Dude, right. that was sick. So Anders, you put these two together here and took just a couple minutes, right? Yeah, literally just a couple minutes to snap the parts on each one. Super simple build. Yeah. And the nice thing is too, it comes with uh, a bunch of decal sheets, four decal sheets to be exact, for four different schemes you can do. And pretty much out of the box, it's, it's ready for flight. It has the props on it already, right? Mm -hmm. yep. And all you need to do is put on the guards and the clip in the, uh, the wing tip, and the, which gives you the VTOL. Yep, exactly. Cool. That's all you need to do for assembly. And then for the decals, super easy to put on. Um, you have you know, a bunch of different colors to choose from, and then the bottom you can basically customize however you yeah. like. Now one thing we strongly recommend here is uh, you are eventually going to break props, especially if you have a lot of crashes and eventually you're, you know, your props get chewed up. Yeah. You may have some weird flight characteristics. Don't do what I did and just fly it with a shredded prop. Go ahead and pick up a couple spares. You're going to want those. That way you can kind of get your tuning where it needs to go. Yeah. So as far as flight times goes, you have between a 450 and 800 milliamp battery. Right. Honestly, well, the bigger batteries are going to give you longer flight times. So yeah, a little the, bit less punch. Yeah. So you know, we prefer the 450s, I think. Yeah, yeah, we like the 450s. E even with the lighter weight and stuff, it seems like it has a little bit better efficiency. We really like the 450s in Acro, yeah. but it comes with an 800, which will give you anywhere from a six to eight minute flight, depending on how you fly. Which is pretty impressive. It really is. You got the ready to fly, 200 yep. bucks with the DXE charger, everything you need to go. I carried the Bind and Fly, $150. Yeah. And that is when you need a transmitter and you need your battery and charger. My gut check is that as time goes on and people really get their hands on this, this is gonna be one of those planes that travel everywhere with you. Yeah, I agree. Friends, we wanna thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of the Flight Test family. Uh, this plane is a blast. We hope that if you have one, have an experience, share it in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. See you next time.